we honor those who have lost their lives 20 years ago in the tragic events that occurred on American soil. It's been 20 years and thousands of American lives have been lost. We're going to take this moment today and honor those who have lost their lives. JROTC, our band, ASB, will all participate in this remembrance ceremony. Colonel Hunt, I turn it over to you. Commander, take charge of the flag raising ceremony. Detail! Attention! American flag, post! Orange! Right, Never!
20 years have passed since the attacks on September 11, 2001, an event that would devastate a nation and change the course of history forever. Even amidst unparalleled destruction and violence, the days after 9-11 showed the incredible strength, resilience, and courage of the American people. We rightfully reflect each September 11th on the nearly 3,000 innocent who lost their lives that day in 2001 and the heroes who ran into danger to save their lives. That morning after the terrorist attacks, we all woke up unified as Americans. No matter the color of our skin or where we worshiped or what city we lived in or how much money we had. Out of the darkness of 9-11 came a bright moment of clarity and unity that we must never ever forget. Like many Americans, I still remember where I was that day when the plane struck the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center and the hijacked plane went down in Shanksville and the plane hit the Pentagon. I was a major in the Army stationed over in Germany. America was going to execute a reckoning on behalf of the fallen and on behalf of all Americans. We were going to publicly, unapologetically, un unapologetically identify evil for what it was. And we were going to destroy the enemies who attacked us. These memories are important. We say never forget because even when we can't see it, we know there are very real evil forces in the world like nothing more that would like nothing more than to bring us to our knees. But if on September 11th we remember the evil that wants to destroy us, we must remember that there, are, that there is also much good in the world. The police officers and the firefighters who ran headlong into harm's way on September 11th and lost their lives didn't die because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They died because there was a highly dangerous situation and they went charging forward into it anyway. Many Americans woke up the day after the terrorist attacks only because these heroes sacrificed their lives for the lives of others that they didn't even know. Many woke up, and many wake up each day still because of these same heroes in our police and fire departments as they continue to protect our families and communities every day. So if on September 11th we remember the heroism of so many, displayed, we should strive to emulate it and rediscover that unity we once knew. Brave men and women of our military, law enforcement, first responders, and countless others gave, gave their lives on 9-11 in the years after so that all Americans could wake up each morning free from threat. They died so that the rest of us could wake up with the opportunity to pursue our dreams and strive to be the best version of ourselves. We cannot hope to repay these heroes for what they've done. We can only ask, what would those who died ask of us? I believe we must do our best to live lives that honor the sacrifice of these people that these people made on our behalf. When faced with adversity, we can't curl up into the corner and hide. Just as they ran headlong into danger, so must we confront the challenges with a brave face and a courageous heart. We must meet the challenges that are in front of us directly, assess them as our own. We must be gritty, bust our tails and do it even more so when, it's, when, it's, when it is difficult. The old cl cliche is true, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Perhaps most important, we must remember that we inspire each other with our actions, especially when we work to help each other. We are stronger when we share in this community than when we attack each other for our differences. We are stronger as a nation when we pay it forward because we can't pay it back all those who have sacrificed so that we may live free. Just as we never forget the trial and tragedy that we endured on September 11th as a nation, let us each day strive to replicate the unity we show as one country. At this time, we would like to honor all those who have sacrificed their freedom, for those who perished in the Twin Towers, the Pentagon, and on the plane that went down in Shanksville. For those who ran into harm's way trying to save lives, our first responders, police, fire, ambulatory services, and the many Americans that helped each other during that crisis. 
We'd also like to recognize our military members who made the ultimate sacrifice in fighting the global war on terrorism global war on terrorism and as that continues today we would like to lay a wreath at the flagpole honoring all those heroes who died including those military members that were recently killed in Afghanistan. Commander, conduct the wreath laying ceremony. in a 20-second moment of silence representing the 20-year anniversary of 9-11 to honor our fallen. As we leave here today, let us never forget the sacrifices of those who died and put their lives on the line uh, daily to protect us in our local communities and in our nation. Let us stand united as Americans and let us stand united always. This concludes our ceremony.